So here at McQueenie Dam, you can see it's all about structural concrete work. There's a large structural concrete pour going on today. Sunt has completed uh, all of the structural concrete work for one of the three spillgate areas. And you can see that one of the two large center piers has also completed concrete construction. Sunt is currently working on the second and third gate simultaneously. Uh, the spillway floor is near completion in both of those gate areas. And you can see a lot of structural rebar being placed to form the abutment walls in the second of the two center piers. Another item that Sunt has completed is the uh, construction of the walls that will form the new control room where the hydraulic power unit that operates these spill gates will sit. We're happy to hit the point in construction to where the majority of the structural concrete work has been completed in the primary spillway. Uh, while there's still some to go, the most critical work that could be damaged during a flood event has all been completed, and we were lucky that that work progressed past that point before we just had a spill event a few weeks ago that overtopped the copper dams that protect this work area and did flood out the work area for a few days. Luckily, due to the phase of the project we were at, there was no major damage sustained by that, and the contractors got back to work with concrete placement. So moving forward, we will progress to the point where uh, the first of three spill gates will start to be set out in the primary spillway. All of the equipment and the gate panels needed to complete that work are currently sitting here on site. And as soon as the contractor gets past the structural concrete pours that are currently underway, they'll be able to move into that phase of work here at McQueenie. The contractor is also going to move into placing the hydraulic power unit in the building that's been newly formed and starting to wire up all the electrical connections needed to make that unit operable.